In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can reset a template driven form. Now before we learn how we can reset a form, let me show you one bug here. And the bug is, let's say I select the first name, I select the last name and I select the date of birth here. Now when I will click on this create a username button, based on the first name, last name and date of birth, it is going to generate a username. But this button here, we have not specified a type for this button. So by default, since we are using this button inside a form, by default, its type will be submit. That means when this button will be clicked, this form will be submitted. So when I click on this create a username button, you will notice that a username has been generated based on first name, last name and date of birth and the form has been submitted. And when the form has been submitted, it has logged this ng form object. Now here we don't want to submit the form when this create a username button is clicked. We only want to submit the form when this submit button is clicked. To solve this problem, all we have to do is we have to set the type for this button as button. By default, since we have not specified a type for this create a username button. So if I scroll down here, we have that create a username button. For this button, we are not specifying any type. So by default, it will be of type submit because we have defined this button inside a form. So by default, its type will be submit. But we can also set its type to button. So here, let's set the type to button. And now the type of this create a username button is button. So now it is not going to submit the form. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to our web page. And now if I select first name, last name and the date of birth. And now when I click on this create a username button, for some reason, it is still submitting the form. That's because here I have misspelled the type. Okay, let's save the changes now. Let's go back to the web page. Let's select first name, last name and date of birth. And let's click on this create a username button. So it has calculated the username and it has populated this username field with that username. But now it is not submitting the form because if it would have submitted the form, we would be seeing the ng form object here. So now when this button is being clicked, it is not submitting the form. So this is one issue which I wanted to resolve here. Another problem is when this create a username button is clicked, it is calculating the username and it is populating this username control with that username. And with that, it is also setting the country to Japan. So let me reload the page. You see initially the default value for the selected country is India. Now if I enter first name, if I enter last name, and if I select a date of birth, when I click on this create a username button, a username will be generated and this username control will be populated with that username. And it will also change the country to Japan. Just notice what happens here. So when I click on this create a username button, a username has been calculated and the country has changed to Japan. This is because when this create a username button is clicked, we are calling this generate username method. And let's go to app component.ts. And if I scroll down, here we have this generate username method. In that method, after we have set the username by using this patch value method, so we are using this patch value method to populate the username control. Right, so after we have set the username for that username control, we are also setting a new value for the country control. And we are setting it to Japan. So here I'll simply comment this line because we don't want to change the country to Japan once the username button is clicked. So I'll simply comment it, I'll save it. And now if you go to the web page, if I select first name, if I select last name, and if I select a date of birth, it should calculate a username based on the first name, last name and date of birth. So as you can see, it has calculated the username and populated this username control with that username, but now it is not changing the country to Japan. All right, with that, now let's see how we can reset a form. So currently, if I enter some data in these fields, and when I click on this submit button, you will notice that the form has been submitted and this ng form object has been logged here. But all the form controls in this form still have the previous value. So what we want is, once the user has entered all the details in the form controls and when he has clicked on the submit button, the form should be submitted and the form should also be reset. That means 
all its control should become empty and the state of the form should also reset let's see how we can do that doing that is very simple all we have to do is once the form is submitted we are calling this on form submitted method so once the form is submitted we are reading the value of some of the form controls after that we want to reset the form and to reset the form all we have to do is on the ng form object for that we can use this dot form property so this form property is storing an instance of ng form object on that object we have a method called reset once we call this reset method it will simply reset the form that means all the form controls of that form will be reset to empty and the state of the form will also get reset let's see that let's save the changes let's go back to the web page and let's enter some details in these form controls and now when i click on this submit button the form has been submitted and all its form controls have also been reset and also the state of the form control will be reset let me actually show you that so let's go to this elements tab there let me expand this app root there we have this form in that form we have this div there we have this input element called first name and we also have input element called last name okay so currently let's take an example of this first name input control so currently you will notice that on this first name this ng untouched ng pristine and ng invalid css classes have been added right because this form has been reset now let me go and let me enter some details here okay let's select all the required fields and now when i click on the submit button just notice what happens when i click on this submit button the form has been reset and you will notice that again this ng untouched ng pristine and ng invalid css classes have been added on these form controls so here when the form is getting submitted the state of the form control is also changing and this is what i mean when i say that when the form will be reset it will change the state of the form control as well as the form so when we enter something in the first name control so for example when i touch this form control this ng untouched will be removed and ng touched will be added see ng untouched has been removed ng touched has been added okay if i enter some value in this first name field then ng pristine will be removed and ng dirty will be added as you can see ng pristine has been removed and ng dirty has been added and this form control now also contains a valid value so this ng valid css class has also been added and ng invalid has been removed now once this form will be submitted this form control will be reset that means on this form control this ng untouched css class ng pristine css class and ng invalid css class will be added for example let me select the value for the required fields and just notice what happens to these css classes on this first name control when i submit the form so now when i submit the form you see ng touched was removed and ng untouched has been added ng dirty was removed and ng pristine has been added and ng valid was removed and ng invalid has been added so the state of this form control has been reset in the same way the state of all these form controls will be reset you can see that now for the gender no value has been selected and for the country also no value is selected but if you remember in one of the lectures we set this male as the default value for gender and we set india as the default value for country but once the form has been reset every control has become empty and the state of each of the form controls has been reset now what we also want is once the form is submitted the form should reset but the gender should have a default value male and the country should have a default value india so let's go ahead and let's do that so after we have reset the form what we are also going to do is we are going to set the value for gender and country 
and to set the value we have learned that we can use set value or patch value method now here i'm going to use patch value method so again on the ng form object we have that ng form object inside this form property on that we have another property called form and in that form we have a method called patch value to this patch value we need to pass an object and this object it should have properties similar to value object of ng form and here we don't need to specify all the properties we only need to specify those properties whose value we want to set so here we want to set the value for gender property so in the value object we will have a gender property and we want to set its value we want to set its value to male and then in the value object we also have a country property now that country property is not present directly inside the value object instead in the value object we have an address property and that address property is an object and in that object we have a country property and we want to set the value of this country property to india okay so once the form has been reset we also want to set the default value for gender and address with this if i save the changes if you go back to the web page and let's go ahead and let's enter some data in the required fields let's create a username let's select street address let's select city let's select postal code and now when i click on the submit button you will notice that all the controls have been reset and for the gender this default value male is selected and for the country the default value india is selected so this is how you can set some default value for some of the controls after the form has been reset this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day